What's up y'all? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to get more pop on your wakeboard. Before we get this video started, I just wanted to say this video is sponsored by Centurion Boats, Hyperlite Wakeboards, and Jet Pilot Life Jacket. What I mean by getting good pop is getting big air, something we all wanna do, to be in the air for a long amount of time so you have time to do bigger and better tricks. I get a ton of DMs from you guys asking me what you could do to improve your tricks or to help you land a trick, and I have noticed that a bunch of you, like a lot, a lot of you, actually absorb your pop and you actually miss your pop, and this would be a good tutorial to kinda help you guys all get bigger and better air. I am only doing wake to wake jumps in this video, but I will put in examples of what it's like to actually absorb pop and what it's actually like to get a good amount of pop. Maybe I'm driving me crazy. The wake in this video is absolutely massive, but the tutorial does apply for all size wakes, even as small as a jet ski. One key thing to getting big air and a good amount of pop is actually edging all the way through the entire wake from the bottom of the wake all the way up to the very peak of it. If you do not do this and you leave early, you will miss a good amount of pop your wake has to offer. But if you do edge all the way through to the very top of the wake, you will end up edging all the way through to the very peak of the jump, which will give you a lot of power and an upward momentum, giving you more pop and more air. The most important thing to getting big air is actually pushing off the very top of the wake. Pushing as hard as you possibly can, as hard as your legs can possibly push without being out of control. That will get you the absolute most air possible. Another thing to add on to pushing off the very top of the wake is actually starting squatted at the bottom of the wake. And as you're getting closer and closer towards the top, you'll be pushing and pushing and have that maximum push at the very peak. Since you're pushing while you're traveling upward, you'll have that upward momentum from the wake plus your push and that will really send you up as high as possible. Some people think that the harder you edge, the higher you're actually gonna go. This isn't always necessarily true because if you do edge extremely hard, but don't have a solid push off the top of the wake, you might actually end up absorbing the wake and not going as high as you normally would with a softer edge. And don't get me wrong, if you do have a really hard edge as well as a proper push off the top of the wake, you will actually get sent to the moon. Another small tip to getting more air on your jump is actually towards the peak of your jump. If you start to pull your knees up towards your chest and really bring those feet up, you could gain another six inches or a foot to your air. A mistake I do see a lot of people do is actually absorb pop. Here's an example of me absorbing pop. This usually happens when you leave the wake early or you end up ripping your knees up to your chest trying to get big air, but you actually haven't really pushed off the top of the wake yet. So you end up sort of scrubbing the top of the wake and getting minimal air. This isn't really a good thing unless you're trying to look weird. So really just make sure you push off the very top of the wake and make sure you edge all the way up and through the very top of it. I'm just gonna give you a brief little summary on how to get more air. Make sure you're about halfway away from the wakes as possible. Have a nice medium edge back in towards the wakes. Make sure you stay nice and squatted on your edge back in towards the wakes. As you're approaching the bottom of the wake, this is when you can start pushing. And as you're getting closer and closer towards the top, make sure you edge all the way through the very top of the wake. And as you're getting closer to the top, you wanna have your peak extension, your peak push off the very top of the wake and push as hard as you possibly can while maintaining control. This will give you the most upward pop possible. As you're reaching the peak of your jump, make sure you suck those knees up to get that extra little bit of air. Now that you're at the peak of your jump, you can spot your landing, maybe extend your legs a little bit, and as you're coming down, bend your knees on impact and just ride away. This entire tutorial wasn't necessarily in order. I just sort of wanted to give you a little bit of tips on how to get more air. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you get big air. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.